That um, win by Lepitelliani um, following on the back of the contest where Tiago Camillo beat Marcus Nyman means that it's Lepitelliani and uh, Tiago Camillo in the next uh, next round. Yep, Yuko scored there by Zviadari. He's two Yukos up now, one on the back of a penalty that uh, Farkash has picked up. Vidari, well, he's just going through the paces here. Not really um, stepped up a gear. Tries the YouTube matter. And then looked to go outside, but he was a little bit too far away. Into the last minute. And this will... Uh, Reminds Viadari of the volume of work that he needs to compete at this kind of level. Not to be taken lightly. Uh, an excursion into international competition judo requires more than just uh, a flight ticket and your entry. If you're really going to do something, you better be in the uh, best of shape because the people that you're going to come up against will be working hard, training very, very hard. And if you're not up for it, you're going to end up looking a little bit silly. Vidari picks up uh, a warning for passivity. Nine seconds left and uh, Farkash is desperate now. But the Georgian Zvidari, a little bit too clever for him. And does enough to take the contest by two Yukos and uh, it's uh, the Georgian Zurab Zvidari who comes out the winner. OK, well, we've been watching um, the action on mat two for most of the morning, so maybe we'll go back there and we'll join the contest on mat two because the Slovakian Milan Randall is uh, on the mat. He's up against Alexandra Lom of, uh, of France. So let's see if we can uh, go and... Uh, join that. There we go. Milan Randall in blue and Alexandra Lom. No score between these two. And uh, there's still two minutes and 15, 16 seconds left to go. Just looks a little bit 